All right, Nerlos, I'm live coming to you from Southern California here. Happy Sunday. It's July 2nd already. Wow, where does time go? 2017, it's 12.36 noontime here in Southern California. It's beautiful, be a beautiful Sunday afternoon here. I just finished uh, about an hour ago my live Facebook live programming, and I wanted to do a recap here for YouTube live. <laughs> I love it. What are you laughing at, Nerl? I'm laughing at the fact that Trump is mocking the New World Order. Yeah. Media horrified. Media horrified. Horrified. After Trump tweets video body slamming CNN. <laughs> it's all over the internet. <clears throat> I even put an Instagram picture with a scripture today on uh, social media showing uh, a... Actually, it's a Photoshop of a, a Trump video from years ago where Trump at WrestleMania ends up coming out of the crowd and beating his enemies and winning, right? Yeah, at a WrestleMania <clears throat> uh, event. <laughs> so they took his, Trump's enemy at WrestleMania and they put a CNN logo on its face. And now Trump is beating up CNN. That's basically what it's all about. <clears throat> and Trump put that video on Twitter this morning. <laughs> Mocking... His enemies, mocking CNN, mainstream media, fake news. And the media is horrified. Ooh, horrified. Uh, here's from DailyColor.com. Media horrified after Trump tweets video body slamming CNN. <laughs> I think it's brilliant. I mentioned earlier that Ann Coulter was on, uh, I think it was Fox Business uh, News on Friday it was. And uh, she she's, she's uh, elated. She is excited. She says, finally, the president is fighting back. Uh, in this degree. <clears throat> you know, it's okay for the mainstream media, the Vatican-run, CIA-run media, to hit whoever they want, say whatever they want, do whatever they want on, 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 on multimedia or mainstream media, and it's okay. Obama attacked everybody. Uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi always attacks everybody. I mean, it goes on and on. But when Trump fights back, oh, that's not fair. I love it. I love, lo I said this on Friday, on my live shows on Friday. By the way, I'm here three times a day. Three live shows a day, Monday through Friday. 10 a.m., 2 p.m., and 4 p.m., Monday through Friday. That's California time. Uh, and then, uh, well, I said once on Sunday, but now it's, I did another one, two on Sunday, including this one. So you never know what I'm going to do. All my videos and more, thousands of my videos are on my, uh, can be, uh, well, uh, reached from my website, DarylLawson.com. Yeah, D-A-R-Y-L-L-A-W-S-O-N.com. All right, DarylLawson.com. So, I love it. Media horrified after Trump tweets video body slamming CNN. It's great. I love it. Uh, people think, uh, uh, I think most people think, you know, hey, why not? Uh, the mainstream media, the Vatican media, the, the horror media, the New World Order media, they can do whatever they want. <clears throat> but you can't say anything and do anything. No, 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 no. If you have the freedom of speech, freedom of press, to give your opinion, Trump has the fullness of the, well, the full right to give his opinion on what he thinks is going on. <laughs> and it's hilarious. I'm calling Trump the new Mockingbird. Oh, a Mockingbird. You know what a Mockingbird does? Uh, it's all over, oh, I guess, uh, you know, North America, the Mockingbird. It mimics anything and everything. <laughs> Mimicking what they're doing. Oh, yeah, I was looking at this... Uh, Site right here, uh, AmericanExpedition.us. It talks about mockingbird facts. I love it. This is Trump. Trump is the mockingbird, mocking the New World Order media. <laughs> it says here. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to uh, read all of this. It says, Northern mockingbird is a medium-sized bird that is gray in color and black and white wing feathers. Its underside is white, bill is black. It has, its iris is yellowish orange. Well, that's, uh, that's kind of like... Uh, Trump skin color. <laughs> Males are a bit bigger than females, but other than that, they look the same. The males arrive first and claim the territory. Ooh, that's why Trump went in the White House first and Melania came later. Yeah. <laughs> when the females arrive, Melania in the White House, the males show off their territory and wings by flying around <laughs> and singing. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to read all of this, but it's, it's hilarious. It says, uh, the lifespan of a mockingbird in the wild is eight years. 
I thought, you know, that's kind of interesting. You know, Trump wants to have his presidency for two terms, eight years. <laughs> and what he's doing, Trump, what he's, what, he, what he's doing is he's taking uh, these videos and he's mocking, all right? What the, what the New World Order does is they, they mock him all the time. So he's taking their own sounds and mocking them. Suckers, love it. It says, uh, Northern Mockingbird Facts. It says, female mockingbirds, females, do not sing as much as the males. Ooh, that's why Trump's always on Twitter. And, you know, Melania gets on social media, but not as much as the male. <laughs> mockingbirds are known for their singing abilities. Oh, you mean their tweets? Oh, Twitter tweets. <laughs> A male mockingbird, or Trump, can learn up to 200 different songs. Love it. I love the fact that Donald Trump, I just think he, I think he just turned 71. He's always learning. I mean, he's up at like 3 a.m. in the morning. Does he ever go to bed? And he's always learning. And I like Trump because he's going, he's not perfect. He's not Jesus. He's not the Messiah. But he's definitely being used against the New World Order <laughs> in these end times. Yeah. Listen, Jesus is about to return. I don't, I don't, I'm not embarrassed by that. I always say that. Jesus is about to return. The New World Order is freaking out. And they're trying to go in overtime to try to stop anything that's hindering or resisting the New World Order. Trump is a major factor resisting the New World Order. He's, he's uh, hurting their plans. I love it. The Vatican has lost the U.S. presidency and it's hurting them. Watch my videos on that. That It's prophesied in the Bible, in the book of Daniel, in the book of Revelation, in the Bible, that uh, Trump would come in these last days and resist the new world order. Oh yeah, even Trump's name's in the Bible. Watch my video on that. Ooh, love it. I love the fact that Trump goes on the internet and does his own research, bypasses the crappy media, which is run by the CIA. You know, there was, I mentioned this earlier, there was a program that the CIA, it's still going on today. They say it's its finished, but it's really not. It's called Operation Mockingbird, which is kind of interesting. And they, the CIA takes over the media they pay the journalists, they pay the corporations, the, the, the banks are involved, the corporations, the mainstream media, they're involved in what? Pushing forward the one world agenda, one world government agenda through the, you know, really it's by the Vatican pushing it. Really it's by the fallen angels that push the Vatican, that push their corporations and the CIA. All right, and it's called Operation Mockingbird. And what they do is they take over the media and other corporations and institutions and universities, and they push their propaganda. It's called Op Operation Mockingbird. <laughs> it's, uh, they say it started in the late 40s. It says starting in the early days of the Cold War 40s, the CIA began a secret project called Operation Mockingbird. And I think it's hilarious because Trump's using their own weapons against them. <laughs> Suckers! Look, yeah, Operation Mockingbird. But who's the Mockingbird on Twitter? Trump! is the Mockingbird. <laughs> Let me just finish this uh, Mockingbird facts here. So the lifespan of a Mockingbird in the wild is eight years. So is that going to predict a two-term pres uh, two president two presidency for Trump? And the fact that they can learn. It's amazing that uh, Trump bypasses uh, and finds out himself what's really going on. And he's growing in wisdom and discernment. Yeah. All right, what else? Uh... Mockingbirds usually hang out alone or in pairs. Yeah, that makes sense. It seems like uh, Trump does a lot of his stuff in the morning time by himself. Yeah. What else? Uh, mockingbirds are monogamous, which means they, the pair will stay stay with each other for life. Melania, you're you're blessed. Yeah. Northern mockingbirds tend to imitate other birds and sounds they hear. You know, this is what, you know, Trump's always been involved uh, in, in media. That's where he took the video from that he posted on, on Twitter today about him mocking CNN in this WrestleMania clip that he reposted. <laughs> He's taking their weapons and using it against them. Oh, I love it. Mockingbirds tend to imitate others, other birds, and not just birds. I mean, it's reptiles. It can be car noise. I, I know when I hear mockingbirds, I try to do different sounds to have them try to imitate what I'm doing. Yeah. Actually, one of the presidents, Pre President Thomas Jefferson, had a pet mockingbird named Dick. <laughs> I thought this was interesting. The, the, this bird, the mockingbird, is very territorial. 
I thought that's interesting because Trump is very patriotic. He loves this country. Not that, it's not that Trump doesn't like the other countries. It's that he wants to put America first. Oh, make America great again. Put America first. first. Other people may uh, be upset about that, but there's nothing wrong with people loving their own country. Not hating other countries, but people take Trump's strength and love for this country as hating their country. No, he wants this country to have fair deals. What's wrong with that? Instead of being uh, ripped off every year by presidents for the last 146 years. Oh, so they say the Mockingbird is very territorial. <laughs> you love it. And listen to this. The Mockingbird will not hesitate to attack. <laughs> Boomba! The Mockingbird is very territorial. Trump loves the U.S., man. I mean, you, you got to know that. And that's what people like about him. And, and Trump or the Mockingbird will not hesitate to attack truders. Uh... Trump will not hesitate to attack those who attack him. What, is, what does Melania say? If you hit my husband, he'll hit you ten times harder. <laughs> Mockingbird, yeah! <laughs> the bird is very territorial and will not hesitate to attack intruders. Love it! All right, anyways, uh, mockingbirds are... What do they eat? Uh, insects. Eat bugs. You know, I love the fact that Trump eats the bugs. Eats the, I mean, the mainstream media is a bunch of bugs, pests. One of the names of the devil is Beelzebub, Lord of the Flies, Lord of the Bugs. And this bird eats the bugs. Love it. Mockingbirds are omnivores. In summer, the diet consists mainly of insects. During the winter and fall, they eat more fruit, berries, and insects. Yeah, eat the bugs, Trump. Come on, eat them. And, the, and they're having a meltdown. They're crying about it. I'm reading this here. Media is horrified. Ugh, horrified territorial bird coming in here. After Trump tweets this video, journalists reacted in horror this morning after Trump tweeted a fake video, meaning it's a Photoshop. It's not a fake video. It's a real video that's been Photoshopped. But see, the mainstream media that is, that is run by the CIA and the Vatican, they like to twist their words into uh, causing. Well, they're using the same. See, they're, they're trying to mock back. See, Trump's calling them fake. And then they're coming back and saying Trump's videos are fake. You know, uh, CNN's having a meltdown. Meltdown, suckers! So they're in horror this morning uh, that showed uh, Trump tweeted uh, a video that showed him in the past body slamming CNN in a fake wrestling match. Yeah, I love it. Well, many of the president's supporters online reacted to the video with humor. I love it. It's great. Like I said, Ann Coulter uh, loved it. She said, finally, a president that's hitting back. Finally, we have a mockingbird, yeah. But the consensus among the journalists, ooh, the fake news journalists, seemed to be that Trump was inciting violence. <laughs> That's a bad mockingbird. <laughs> That's what mockingbirds do, all right? You vote in a mockingbird, a, vo a mockingbird uh, does what a mockingbird does. Love it, and they don't like it, because he's taking their... Uh, 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 their pages out of their books and playing against, and playing against them. <laughs> now they're all crumb. I'm not going to read all their boo hoo -ness. Uh CNN, it's a sad day when President of the U.S. encourages violence. What? How many times, how many days, how many weeks and months and years did Obama incite violence all the time? Violence against the cops, violence on the streets, violence, viol even violence against the president, the new president, President Trump now. Right. Uh, it's been going on for years, but they don't like people using their own weapons against them. Suckers. Yeah, I love it. CNN stated in a, in a responding tweet, wee, wee, wee. Matthew Dowd, ABC News chief political analyst, cry me a river, right? Put country over party. Oh, like, you know, he, see, Trump is effective and they don't like presidents unplugged from the matrix. <laughs> And other journalists saying, this isn't funny. Oh, it's funny when you do it. The media says, he's going to get somebody killed in the media. <laughs> the CIA runs the media. How many people have the CIA killed? Oh, right? Yeah. And I'm reading this article here, and I read a little bit from earlier. I'm not going to read all of it. It said, in, uh, the CIA began a secret project called Operation Mockingbird. With the intent of buying influence behind the scenes. You know, the Bible says the... Uh, the, the love of money, the love of money, not money, but the love of it, the lust for it, 
The love of money is the root of all evil. And it's interesting when I read this, that comes to my mind. When it says the CIA began a secret project called Operation Mockingbird with the intent of buying, buying money, influence behind the scenes at major media outlets, and putting reporters on the CIA payroll. It's still today. I mean, I, I scream at the TV all the time when I hear these paid CIA journalists, talking heads, news anchors say the same thing. ABC, CBS, MSNBC, CNN, uh, etc., etc. It's like it's the same thing almost at the same minute during, during the day. That's brainwashing. Uh, Operation Mockingbird is not over. The MK Ultra program mind control is not over. It's everywhere. It's more prevalent now than anywhere. You know, this is from the 40s. It's more prevalent now. But Trump, because he is a expert in media, using it in the past, he's using it now against them, which is their nightmare. That <laughs> suckers. Love it. Putting reporters on the CIA payroll. Ooh, I think a lot of them, I think most of the, of the people in Hollywood are CIA assets. I think they're the same in the, in the music industry. Media, of course. That's why they're so upset that Trump won the last election because with all their outlets and people on their payroll, they couldn't stop Trump from become, uh, for, uh, in becoming president. That's why they're so upset. They can't let it go. The CIA, this, on the CIA's payroll, which has proven to be a stunning ongoing, uh, uh, ongoing success and progress. The CIA effort to recruit American news organizations and journalists to become spies and disseminators of propaganda. Yeah, it's right. I think it's an interesting name, Operation Mockingbird, and Trump's now mocking them. Love it! Media assets will eventually include ABC, NBC, CBS, Time, Newsweek, Associated Press, United Press, International, Reuters, Hearst Newspaper, Scripps Howard, Cop, uh, Copley, Copley News Service, 400 plus journalists who have secretly carried out assignments according to documents on file at the CIA headquarters. So this is well known, or should be well known. And the CIA has infiltrated the nation's businesses. I always say that the corporations, the biggest corporations on the earth, are being controlled by the CIA. If, uh, I mentioned this, what was it last week? That you look at Amazon, right? Uh, is it Jeff Bezos, member the uh, CEO? Well, he kind of got his upstart, I think, with a six hundred million dollar contract from where? The CIA. Oh, oh, oh! Take a look at that. Now, I love uh, using Amazon, Amazon Now, Amazon Prime, but I, I, I know who these people are. I know who Google is. I know, I know the CIA is controlling uh, these outlets and these news media and, and the banking system. I mean, like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase, known for money laundering for the drug cartels around the world that are run by the CIA, which is really run by the Vatican. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh yeah. And they don't like, see, they lost this election in part because people took their weapons, their spying, their, their social platforms in which they spy on people. And the people rose up in the U.S. and around the world and, and, has, and have taken the media back and spy on them. Oh, knowing what they're doing. Oh, they don't like it. Love it. <laughs> it says here... Uh, the CIA has infiltrated the nation's businesses, the media, the universities. There you go. Uh, I talked earlier today about the CIA director. Well, look at, uh, they mentioned in this article here, George Herbert Walker Bush, right? Former president. He's from the Skull and Bones, Skull and Crossbones Society from Yale. And that's the universities infiltrated it. Uh, it really stems from the Jesuits. See, so if you look at the Jesuits, the Jesuits are the mafia assassins of the Vatican. They are sent around the world to infiltrate uh, news agencies. Uh, there's a lot. Yeah, oh, look at the Pope. The Pope is the first Jesuit Pope. He kicked out Pope Benedict because Benedict wasn't uh, strong enough to bring in the New World Order. So Pope Heha Francis had to do it. Oh, same with Obama. Obama's job was to finalize the New World Order. Finalize the New World Order. 
But uh, they didn't take into effect the born-again, spirit-filled people on the earth that were praying against them. So Obama really had eight years to screw the world through the, the, the dis dismantling and destruction of the U.S. and couldn't do it, which is recorded in Revelation 13, that the Antichrist would come into power, get kicked out of power, and come back into power for 42 months. Watch my videos on that. Obama will come back into power for 42 months in the near future. That's why he's hanging around. Oh, very, very interesting, I say. Yeah. It says many Americans still insist or persist in believing that we have a free press. Uh, well, we do now because of the Internet more so. Before the Internet, everything was locked up. Oh, let's wait till 5 o'clock to watch the evening news. And they knew they, you know, they, they had control on what people heard. With the, with, the, with the invention and the spread of the Internet around the world, people can bypass the fake news. And now we can mock it and get the true news. I love it. Jesus said in the last days before his, before his return, at the next rapture, there would be the greatest resistance on the earth because of the increase of knowledge. He was talking about the Internet. This gospel shall be preached unto all the world for a witness, and then the end shall come. He's talking about the Internet. <laughs> oh, love it. So get ready, all right? If you're not born again, get born again. If you're not spirit-filled, get, get spirit-filled. Jesus, wash my sins away, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Get in the Bible and do it. Watch my videos. I have thousands of videos to help you kick devil butt in these last days and be ready for the soon return of Jesus. And I don't care what anybody says. Everything the Bible said has always come to pass. And, and you know what? It's, it's, the, it's the, the truest book on the earth. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's never been proven wrong. And everything it said would happen it is, has happened and is happening and will happen. So I'm sticking to the scriptures, yeah. Forget about the Book of Mormon. Forget about the Quran. Forget about the Apocrypha. Forget about the Book of Enoch, the Book of Jasher, all these uh, distractions. Stick to the 66 books of the Bible. Oh, love it. Uh-huh. All right, quickly, I want to just finish this off right here. Oh, and people, by the way, have, you know, wonder, how dare, how dare Trump do what he's doing. Where does he? Where does he think he gets that power from and authority? Well, I was reading this from Luke chapter twenty. It says the authority of Jesus was challenged. Right. One day, as Jesus was on Twitter. Oh no! It's a, oh yeah. I'm thinking of Trump. <laughs> One day, as Jesus was teaching the people and preaching the good news, the, the leading priests, the media, the teachers of religious law, and the elders came to him and said, "Hey, they they demanded, by what authority are you tweeting on Twitter?" By what authority are you doing all these things? Who gave you the right? Luke chapter 20, verse 2. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus said, I'll ask you a question. Did John the Baptist's authority come from heaven or was it merely human? I love it. See, Trump's authority comes from heaven and they don't like it. They can't stop him. See, JFK tried to come against the New World Order. I mean, he, he, well, he's on record. Uh, well, it says he's on record saying that he wanted to splinter the CIA in a thousand pieces. Uh, JFK was hated by the New World Order because he was trying to stop some of their uh, New World Order agenda. The wars, the fake Vatican wars, this, that, and the other. Yeah. And it makes a lot of money for them. All right. He wanted to stop and, uh, you know. Even LBJ was under scrutiny. LBJ, the vice president, was... Uh, he. It, Listen, uh, JFK didn't like LBJ, and LBJ didn't like, Lyndon B. Johnson didn't like uh, JFK. And, and part of the assassination was filtered through the, the vice president. Oh, yeah, the Vatican, the CIA used Lyndon B. Johnson to get rid of his boss. Oh, baby. Yeah. Well, JFK went rogue. They thought a good Catholic would uh, go and push the, the New World Order agenda, but they didn't count... They didn't take account for or of that J, uh, JFK, John Kennedy, President Kennedy, was patriotic. He actually loved this country, even though he, he was messing around, you know, uh, on his wife, and he was a playboy, and went up Marilyn Monroe and all these things. Uh, he actually was patriotic to this country, and that got in the way, and they had to get rid of him. Oh, bye bye uh, Had JFK uh, gotten born again in the spirit field and prayed and kept himself out of a sinful lifestyle... He probably wouldn't have been killed. The forces of darkness don't have power over you unless you're operating in sin. Oh, I talk about this all the time. Watch my videos on that. Yeah, thousands of videos on this. Yeah. 
So Jesus said, did John or did Trump's authority, does it come from heaven or is it merely human? No, no, no. There's a lot of billionaires that you see out there. Mark Cuban, this, that, and the other. Jeff Bezos. You see the CEO of, of, uh, of uh, Starbucks. They're a bunch of twits. Twits on Twitter. There's something different about Trump because his authority doesn't come from his money. His authority comes from heaven. Oh, love it. So they talked. Jesus I said, hey, where did John's authority come from? And they saw that the, the, the mainstream media talked it over verse 5. If we say it was from heaven, then Jesus will say, why didn't you believe him? Why didn't you believe Trump? But if we say it's merely human, the people will stone us because they are convinced that Trump is a good president. <laughs> so they, 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 didn't, they didn't answer. They finally said, we don't know. So that I, I thought that was amazing. I, I think I put Luke 20, verse 4, with a picture uh, uh, of the mainstream media video today that Trump put on Twitter with this verse. With this verse. Or with these verses, you know, I, I kind of condensed them. What authority are you doing these things? Your authority comes from heaven. Oh, love it. Trump's authority comes from heaven. And this is why the CIA, which comes from hell, and the New World Order, the mainstream media, which uh, and the Vatican New World Order, it, it, its agenda comes from the pit of hell. You know that, right? Yeah. Amazing stuff, yeah. <laughs> Major networks are primarily primarily controlled by giant corporations that are obligated by law to put the profits of their investors ahead of the consideration. So it's not it's not news; it's corp corporate media. It's Vatican corporate media. The presidency, the U.S. presidency, has been a Vatican corporation back to 1871. Yeah, very, very interesting. <laughs> Anyways, great great article here from prisonplanet.com. Uh, this article uh, came out years ago. Um, but you can find Operation Mockingbird anywhere. And uh, who controls the media, right? Look up, just Google that. CIA controls the media. And JFK came against the CIA and this uh, New World Order. And tried to dismantle it. it wasn't perfect, but he he couldn't finish it because he was operating in, in a sinful lifestyle. Yeah, when you're operating in sin, you're operating on the devil's ground, and he could kick you in the teeth. Yeah, yeah. So as long as Trump stays out of the sinful playboy lifestyle, keeps on reading the Bible, keeps on praying. I mean, his wife was praying the, the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer. Uh, as long as they continue to do that, they'll be fine. I'm just reading here a paragraph. It says, there is such overwhelming amount of information pertaining to the CIA. That's an impossible to cover it all in one article. Uh, the conclusion that the media is not only influenced by the CIA, the media is the CIA. Many Americans think of their supposedly free press as a watchdog on government, mainly because the press itself shamelessly promotes that myth. <laughs> One well, of the first tenet, tenets uh, for the control of population is control all the control all the sources of information the population receives, and mostly because of the per pervasive CIA and Operation Mockingbird. The mainstream American press, and not just American press, press around the world, uh, is a controlled multinational corporate government megaphone. And this, I mean, Trump has Trump has gone on record in saying this. He said, uh, "I would not do much." Social media, mediating, is that media, mediating, uh, tweeting, whatever, social uh, media, uh, if the media would just tell the truth. So Trump said, if they're not going to tell the truth, I'm going on social media. That's why he goes on social media, and they can't stand it. <laughs> there will never be an end to this corruption unless the CIA is abolished. It's not just the CIA. The CIA is just a tentacle, an arm of the Vatican. All right, and the Vatican actually speaking about uh, Obama earlier, oh, uh, uh, the the one of the main jobs now of the Vatican and the Pope is to put Obama back in power. Yeah, wow, and that's in the Bible. I talk about that all the time. Otherwise, the CIA will keep on using their trips of, tricks of propaganda, stuffed ballot boxes, purchased elections, extortion, blackmail, drug trafficking, 
kidnapping, human trafficking, beating, torture, intimidation, economic sabotage, false stories, infiltration, disruption of opposing political parties, demolition and evacuation procedures, death squads, politically motivated assassinations. It's, it's, it's so hypocritical that the media, which is run by these death squads, these politically motiv motivated assassins, the ones that go into countries around the world and manipulate their elections are crying the blues that Trump and Russia are manipulating the elections when they have done it all the time. Wow, this is, yeah, yeah. But they don't like it. They don't like the table's turn. They don't like the spotlight on that. Operation Mockingbird. Oh, who's doing it today? Trump is really mocking them. The Operation Mockingbird has been coming back on their heads. <laughs> What they have planted, now they're reaping a harvest. And the internet, and Trump even doing the, the tweets today uh, against uh, CNN. He is he's the true mockingbird who's mocking their system, and they can't stand it. It's a great time to be alive, I'm telling you. This is the greatest time to be alive in history, I believe, 20, 2017 and beyond. Because we're seeing the meltdown uh of 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 the mainstream media we're seeing one of the heads of the beast being wounded to death yeah i, I know that the new world order has ha, has its tentacles in the seven continents of the planet yeah but the bible prophesies and says in the last days that one of those heads of the beast will be smashed into death i think that's what we're seeing right now uh, under president trump and he's the true mockingbird Love it. And uh, we'll see if this mockingbird, uh, the lifespan of a mockingbird hit the term of a president is eight years. We'll see. Wouldn't that be interesting? <laughs> Operation Mockingbird Trump style 2.0. All right. There are lots of lives signing up. Just wanted to give you that information. Just say, hey, this is a great time to be alive. This is what's going on behind the scenes. Spread this information to other people. Listen, we can't, uh, uh, you know, CNN's not going to do this. MSNBC is not going to do this. CNN's not going to do this. You know, uh, even, uh, I call it Foxy News. BBC, ABC, CBS, they're not going to do it. They're just going to put out the talking points of the CIA and the New World Order, the Vatican. We need to be the media. We have to use Facebook pages, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, YouTube to get the information out. And that, we are, you are, we are. Get the information, spread these videos. Tell other people, use your social media to... What Jesus said, this message shall go into all the world for a witness. Uh, uh, fulfill those prophecies by being used on social media to spread the information. You know, I think people say, oh, I'm not using it anymore. I'm just gonna blah, blah, blah. No, 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 don't be like that. No, use it. The New World Order would love people not to be on Facebook, not to be on Twitter, Instagram, Google+, uh, YouTube. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. G uh, Gmail. No, no, no. They don't want you to be on there. They want to be the influencers. They want to be Operation Mockingbird. MK Ultra. You know, we got to turn the tables on that. We got to use their weapons against them. So don't uh, give up now. Do it more than you've ever done it before. All right. Keep, like I said, get born again. Stay born again. Hear and do the work. And then when you finished your prayer time, use the social media to spread the information around the world. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I'm looking at my videos going into over 200 uh, countries and regions every day, every day. And, that, and that's just, uh, I'm all, you know, the analytics on YouTube. Never mind Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus and Instagram. Use it all, my friends, against the enemy. Using, picking up those rocks, right? Social media and hitting the glass in the head. They say, oh no, you can't do that. That's too violent. <laughs> Do what David did, all right? <laughs> Love it. Go, hey, David was the government. When he hit Goliath in the head, he was really king of Israel. They came against him. Who do you think you are? Jesus said the same thing, all right? They said, who do you think you are, Jesus? You're not like everybody else. Why are you doing this? By what authority are you doing all these things, Trump? It's from heaven, my friend. All right, there are lots of live signing off. I will see you tomorrow. I do three shows tomorrow, 10 a.m., 2 p.m., and 4 p.m., you can see all that information at more at DarylLawson.com. All right, have a great Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you online 24-7. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Love you.